Imagine you're running an e-commerce store and you track your products, vendors, customers, sales orders, and warehouses in Airtable. And one day one of your vendors calls you up and says, hey, that, that item I have, the egg surfboard, is no longer available. Uh, you need a market as, un, as un, unavailable in your store, right? So, you know, of course, you could dive into your, your, your products and your Airtable and filter through them all, or you could build an app for that, right? So with no loco, you can very easily build an app that does exactly that. So very simple, you find your egg surfboard, you click into it, you click unlist, you click confirm, right? And since this is a very simple app, I'm gonna show you exactly how you do it. So I'm gonna spin over to a empty app. It's, brand, it's ready, ready to be imported our Airtable base. Click our Airtable base, change this to resources, and select your P from here, and then I'll click next. Now that we've connected our Airtable base, Noloka has synced the data across, copied all the tables, and built a basic app from it, right? So you can see here we have purchase orders, product orders, sales orders, sales or items, people, warehouse products. I'm going to very quickly clean it up. First, I'm going to turn on edit mode. Let's give it a command E and enter the edit sidebar. I'm going to just delete a lot of these at the moment, right? I know which ones I want. So I mostly just want to work on the product. So I'm going to drag it up to the top and we're going to open that up. Okay. First of all, I'm going to click the page to, um, change the display to be cards. And then I'm gonna drag myself over here and I'm gonna drag the image up to the top to be used as card image. And then we're gonna turn on some filters. So you can turn on global search. We also wanna filter by status and type and vendor, okay? And then there's a lot more customization you can do, but I'll get to that in a minute. Then, you know, you wanna click on to any of these to open it up. Do that. If I turn back on edit mode, um, I want to add an action button. Okay. What our action is going to do is go, so this product is at the moment is active. So we'll go on list button settings. We're going to keep it as a modal and go, are you sure you want to unlist? And I'm going to pop in the product name there. So you know exactly which product you're unlisting. And then the actions are going to be super simple. I'm going to update a record and then we're going to change the status. I'm going to give that a hidden value. I'm going to make that draft. Okay. I'll test, check if that works. You know, I want to confirm. All right. And you can see it updated to draft. And of course you don't want to display that while it's, while it's uh, in draft state. So again, you can very simply edit this and edit the button visibility and you can create a custom rule that says, when the product status is equal to active, show this, all right? And then of course you can see there that it is no longer visible. And then of course you can clone that action button and create a new one called publish. You know, you change the button settings, so are you sure you want to publish? And then very simply change the status to active and the visibility rule to draft. And then you built your app now that you can go search for egg and you can publish and unpublish in a matter of clicks. And of course, as I showed you earlier in our finished app here, you can do a lot more. You can, you can have your vendors in a split view with their products and their purchase orders. You can map your warehouses on a map and you can track the, um, the, the, the status of those warehouses. You can track your sales orders and you can have a dashboard of your sales orders, you track your orders per week, the status of your orders, the total orders, the total items. And of course you can filter those by customer um, or, or vendor perhaps, depending on what way you want to slice and dice it. And of course you can add customers as well. And of course, the, the last thing I need to show you, of course, is the ability to add a product. So if I go to a vendor and go, let's say Michael Scott and add a new product, it will be brought out to the new product form and Michael Scott will be pre-selected where you can go, um, you know, rack paper and uh, one, two, three, four, five. And of course, if you want to be book and make a draft for the moment, our price is $15. Um, I don't 
have an image at the moment. Quality paper. Vendors is already selected. And now we have our new rack of paper um, product. And that's really it. That's how you make an app from your Airtable with no logo in less than five minutes.